Hello everyone and welcome to the National Catholic College Admission Association and Jesuit Education Tour Virtual College Fair. We're very excited that you're able to join us for this event this evening. We have quite a few fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Clarissa and I'll be your facilitator this afternoon. Before we get started, we do have just a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You also have a Q&A button with which you can ask questions to our presenters at any time. If you have a question for a specific school, be sure to mention them within your question. This presentation is also being recorded and following this uh, webinar, you'll be able to go to stripescan.com slash NCCAA to find all of our recordings from this evening. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to our first institution, which is Loyola University, New Orleans. Thank you, Clarissa, and hello, everyone. Um, very, very happy that you're here. My name is Gloria Hill, as you can see all around me. I am the represent or one of the representatives for Loyola University in the beautiful, the colorful New Orleans, Louisiana. Unfortunately, I did not prepare a boring slideshow for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read my slideshow. I'm gonna try and keep you entertained. And in the meantime, you can browse our website. It's really easy to get to. It's loyno, L-O-Y-N-O for New Orleans dot edu. So while you're browsing, you can kind of listen in to me. And if you have any questions, as Clarissa mentioned, um, drop those in the chat. And yeah, cool. I graduated from Loyola in 2016 with a Bachelor of Music degree in vocal performance. And I decided early on after being in the real world that I did not want to be an opera singer for a living. I am very happy uh, working in the Office of Admissions and working for the school that honestly changed my life. So um, our first slide, though you can't see it, is find yourself here at Loyola. And that is exactly what we want all of our students to do. We are a small liberal arts Jesuit Catholic institution. Um, our classes are driven by critical thinking, um, driven by the diverse uh, community that we enroll at Loyola. And our teachers are, of course, wonderful. I know, I know all of the schools here have wonderful teachers. We are young. We were founded in 1912. Um, our average class size, you will, you will never be in a class larger than 30 people. And that's a big one. That's a big class. Um, we have about 3,000 students on campus. Did I already say that? Who knows? Um, we're very proud of our number seven in diversity and inclusion. This is according to the Princeton Review. Um, our student faculty ratio is 12 to one. And um, when you get into the College of Music and Media, which is the, the college that I represent, um, it, that ratio gets even smaller, so eight to one. We are not located in the French Quarter. We're located in Uptown, New Orleans. We're about 30 minutes away from the French Quarter. Um, it's a residential area, lots of wonderful food to eat, coffee shops to visit, um, parks to picnic in, and there are lots of animals around, dogs, um, kittens, pigs. Uh, it's a, you know, New Orleans, it's, it's a wonderful place. Um, our, I'll, I won't talk too much about our Jesuit identity, but um, hopefully you'll hear tonight a few times that just because we're a Catholic university doesn't mean that uh, we are not welcoming of other religions. In fact, uh, we encourage students from um, diverse different backgrounds to join our community because it helps our campus um, grow. Our classes are very unique with all different um, ideas and um, stories to share. So we, we love all the religions and we want, we want all of them on our campus. We have three, uh, well, four main colleges now at Loyola, the College of Music and Media, the College of Business, the College of Arts and Sciences, and brand new College of Nursing. We have 
a nursing degree at Loyola. New Orleans, it's brand new. Um, you come in as a freshman, you start learning about nursing, and when you graduate, you're working as a nurse. Uh, we've connected with Auctioner Health System in New Orleans, so that's a really new and, and cool thing going on. Like many universities, we have a wonderful honors program with scholarships that are connected to the honors program should you decide to apply. The College of Arts and Sciences has an incredible psychology department, computer science department with game design, physics, um, foreign languages, et cetera. The College of Business, um, marketing, entrepreneurship is our newest and most exciting major that we have going on. Um, and finance, of course, all those things. And the College of Music and Media. As my time is running out, I have to mention our amazing majors in hip hop and R&B. That's a Bachelor of Science, Popular and Commercial Music, another Bachelor in Science. Um, and we also have, of course, Jazz Studies opera performance, musical theater, and everything, everything under the sun, design, a BFA in digital filmmaking. So we are very much a creative university and also a pre-health university. We have it all. Clarissa, I feel like I need to start wrapping it up, but I can't see you or hear you and I don't have the chat pulled up. So I'm just gonna keep going. You just have a little bit longer, about 30 seconds. Awesome. I, I guess the last thing that I'll say is it's free to apply to Loyola. We're on the Common App. The app is open right now. If you have any questions about the university, please email me. I'll put my email in the chat. Thank you so much for that presentation. Up next, we have Seattle University. Hi everyone, bear with me while I share my screen. Um, so you should be seeing my screen. My name is J.R. Robago. I'm one of the assistant directors here at Seattle University and I'll talk about SU. Um, also, I'm a first generation college student as well as then um, went to Seattle U and graduated in 2010. So here is gonna be a photo of our entire campus. It's about 55 acres. So from one end of campus to the other, it's about a 12 minute walk. And um, as you can see, if I go back to the slide, my bad, um, everything in the red border is gonna be a Seattle University property. You're gonna be able to really um, experience the college life and college experience and with the added benefit of a large city um, at your fingertips. So a lot of our students end up interning in downtown. A lot of our students have great social lives outside of the college atmosphere, um, just because of the eclectic nature of Seattle University. So we were founded in 1891. We're one of uh, 27 other Jesuit colleges um, in this session as well. And then as far as student population, we're about 4,700 undergraduate students. So we have a mix of um, graduate students and law students, but I wanted to provide that number for undergrads. Uh, and fun fact, we have students who come from all uh, or 51 states and territories, so well represented, as well as in also 90 countries. We have 65 different degree direct entry majors, and all um, in the next slide I'll discuss the most popular ones. Uh, and we're part of the Western Athletic Conference. We have 18 different men's and women's sports. Uh, it's very easy to get to Seattle International Airport or SeaTac, uh, either through a short Uber or Lyft ride, or as well, we have um, close um, proximity to the Link Light Rail that'll take you directly to it. All right, so in terms of our programs or academics at Seattle University, like Loyola, we do have small class sizes where your average class size is about 18. So student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. And no matter what the size of the class, no matter if it's a core class or a major class, you're gonna be taught 100% by professors, whether that's direct entry nursing, engineering, criminal, criminal justice or arts, you're gonna be taught by professors, right? So again, direct entry, regardless of your programs, if you're interested and in all types of things, we do have a pre-major uh, pre-major program if you come in undecided. And everything that we offer is gonna be open to you with the exception of nursing. Nursing's the only one that you have to come in um, uh, 
and be admitted to, right? So core classes are general education classes. They're really fun. They're taught by professors who are teaching you about specific topics that they have. So things like potions for muggles or chemistry for cooking. Uh, we do have two theology requirements for students. And don't be afraid, it's not just Catholic traditions or anything like that, but it could be things like sports and spirituality or gender in the Hebrew Bible, or even just um, introductory to the Quran or even Native American spirituality. So a lot of fun classes that you're gonna be exposed to. And do know our students who graduate on average earn 36% um, higher in terms of their salaries than the national average. All right, so it's not just about academics at Seattle University, right? So educating you as a whole person, professional formation, and empowering you all as leaders means that you have to have a well-rounded education and a well-rounded experience in college. So we wanna make sure that you have a robust student life, right? So we're not part of the Greek system, but we do have a lot, a lot of student clubs. We have over 130. So ranging from newspapers, radio stations, to triangle club, to really cultural and identity-based things uh, or identity-based organizations, athletics, honor societies, things like that. Uh, if you can't find anything that really resonates with you, you can certainly connect with our Center for Student Involvement and really be recognized as an official club on campus. Wanted to give some space to highlight our BIPOC resources and also BIPOC um, organizations, as well as then also um, things like our OMA or Office of Multicultural Affairs that really helps these students retain and really thrive at Seattle University. Uh, they do things like Connections Leadership Program. Um, our, we do have a Costco scholarship for students who are underrepresented. Uh, and they also celebrate you as students of color. Right. So we do things like students of color celebration, lavender celebration, uh, and also do various um, workshops with you as well. We utilize a holistic review process. And so if you um, know what that means, that means that we're taking everything in this circle uh, and looking at you as a whole person. Right. So we're not just looking at you as just your grades. So we're looking at you as a leader, as a change maker, all of that stuff. We do have um, common application. However, if you are interested in going to a two-year institution or another four-year, but you want to transfer in, you can certainly do that. And you can we have a transfer-specific application on our website. Uh, as far as what it takes to get to Seattle University or be part of Seattle University, these are the strict numbers. Um, but do know that we have a very robust um, merit scholarships, anywhere ranging from 8,000 to 25,000. We have nine spaces for our Sullivan Leadership Program, uh, which is our full tuition and full room and board scholarship. And then know that the number is actually now 92% of our students receive an average package of about 32,000. And I see Clarissa, so I just wanted to make sure that I um, provide my contact information. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or give me a call. But with that, thank you all for listening. And there goes my alarm. <laughs> Perfect timing. Thank you so much for your presentation. Up next, we have University of St. Francis. Awesome, thank you. Uh, let me just share my screen real quick. Okay, make this large. Maybe, okay, wonderful. Um, so like Clarissa said, my name is Erica. Um, I'm an admissions counselor at the University of St. Francis. Sorry, just kind of my stopwatch going. Okay, um, so the so University of St. Francis is located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, so we're about 20 minutes, or excuse me, about um, two hours from Indianapolis, about three hours from Chicago. It's kind of where we're located. Um, just to give you an overview before we get to in the weeds here, uh, we are a smaller school. We have about 1,800 students in our total undergrad population. Um, brings us about to 2,200 if you add in our master's programs. Uh, we were started as a nursing school in the late 1800s, but we've since expanded to a liberal arts university. So we offer over 60 programs um, in differing uh, fields, whether it be healthcare, education, business, that sort of thing. Um, and we'll get into more academics as we go. And then like our name suggests, we are a Catholic school. Um, and I, I guess everyone here is. Um, so, and we'll talk more about what that looks like as we go on. Um, so to start, let's just talk about our academics. Like I said, we were started as a nursing school, so healthcare is a really strong part of our identity. 
Um, our nursing program is very strong. We have a 100% job placement rate. Um, in addition to our nursing program, we also have a rad tech and a surge tech program, a uh, physical therapy assistant. We have a PA master's program, pre-med, uh, pre-vet, pre-dentistry. Um, and all of our healthcare majors, they have internships built in as well as simulation labs on campus. So students are able to get a lot of hands-on work. Uh, but if you're not interested in healthcare, it's no worries. We are a liberal arts school, so we have lots else to offer. Um, we offer, obviously, business, elementary education. Um, if you're interested in creative arts, we have a whole creative arts department, um, graphic design, more social sciences as well, as psychology and social work. Um, so that's a broad range of our programs. If you're interested, our website has the full list. Um, a couple of resources we're able to provide for our students. We have free tutoring for every course that we offer, as well as, like I said earlier, lots of internship opportunities as well. Um, something that we really focus on is caring about our students as a whole people. So recognizing that they are academics, but they also are siblings and their sons or daughters and friends. And we want to care for them as a whole person. So by the time they graduate, they're ready and prepared emotionally and mentally to make a change in the world. Um, so we try and incorporate that through all of our academic programs. Um, all right, let's talk a little about scholarships because that is a, a factor in choosing where you go is to making sure that it is a financially wise decision. Um, with room and board plus tuition, we look, we're around $42,000 a year, um, but we do offer scholarships ranging from 15 to $20,000 based on a student's GPA. So we are test optional. Um, if you submit a test score that could potentially raise your scholarship, um, but every student, regardless of their GPA, upon acceptance will immediate or automatically receive at least $15,000 every year. And then we have additional scholarships, um, competitions. Um, all of our Catholic students receive $1,000 a year as well. So there are different opportunities within our merit structure to get certain scholarships. So I always encourage students, even if you're not sure, at least apply and we can see what we can do for you. Um, all right, now let's talk about campus life because you want to make sure that where you're going is a place that you can enjoy for four years. Um, and we try and do that by incorporating a lot of student engagement and uh, making sure that our students are part of creating the culture on campus. Um, we do this through several different ways. Um, our student activities committee is made up of students and they do the events on campus. So they do trivia nights, they do murder mystery nights on campus. Um, we bring food trucks in from the community. We have a lake on campus. So we have boat races, paddle boards available for our students to use. Um, and then we also have intramurals on campus. So for our students who want to play a sport but not be a college athlete, they can stay busy with those throughout the year. Um, but for students that are interested in college athletics, we are part of the NAIA division. Um, so a small D2 school um, and students can receive scholarships for athletics as well. Um, our football program is really strong. We pull in students from all, of, all over the country for that program. Um, if sports aren't your thing, we have over 40 student clubs and organizations. Um, and that's a place where you can either express like if, if it's an academic club, you can participate in that or, you know, really anything. If a student's interested in something and we don't have a club for it, we try and, and make something work and, and uh, pull something together. Uh, all right. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about our Catholic identity, because um, that is a part of what makes us a, a school and, and where we were founded. Um, so we do accept all faiths on campus. You don't have to be Catholic. Um, but for students that are Catholic and want to grow in their Catholic faith, we do offer mass every day, um, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, as well as Bible studies throughout the week and then ministry opportunities as well um, for service organizations and the like. Um, so if students want, they can really grow in their Catholic faith. All right, and I see our time is short here. Um, just some information about Fort Wayne. It's a pretty cool place. Um, and then if you are interested, check out our website and apply, it's free. So thank you. Thank you for your presentation. As a reminder to our participants, if you guys have questions for any of the schools you're hearing from today, definitely don't hesitate to put those in the Q&A down below. Up next, we have Gwynedd Mercy University.
Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Kosky. I'm reporting you reporting live from my fake apartment in Philadelphia. So we lit, so Gwen and Mercy is about 30, about 30 minutes outside of Philadelphia. So we are pretty much, we are the sisters of Gwen and Mercy. So we practice uh, education in nursing. That's what we really are known for. So as you can see here, this is a little bit history of us. We were founded in 1948. Again, we are a Catholic institution, meaning is that students will, uh, we do accept all denominations of all uh, remnants of faith. Uh, however, though, you will have to take a philosophy course or any re world religion courses moving forward. We're a little, little less than 2000 students. Most of the students will receive 100% financial aid. We're again, like I said, 30 minutes from Philadelphia. The one thing I think we really proud ourselves about is this right there is the student faculty ratio, 10 to one which is, is amazing, especially if you're looking for any of the allied health. We have 30 majors and we have 15 minors, all right? And as you can see here, these are the academic programs that we do offer. Now, if you look closely, there's anything with an asterisk. So we have gone test optional, but any of those uh, majors that we offer the asterisk, that means you can submit your test scores, or if you go test optional, you have to have an interview in, in order to move forward. The one thing that we also offer, which is really unique, is university studies. Those are for students who are undecided or just not entirely sure and really kind of want to explore who they really are in college. I believe college is supposed to be a transformational effort. So it's really important to really figure out who you are, what do you want to be, and how do you transcend and uh, build your legacy. The one thing that I really love about our school, again, being a small school outside of Philadelphia, is the Griffin Edge. What we're able to do for students is the minute they step on the campus is to really see who they are and what they are about. We are building your portfolio. We are putting you in areas for you to succeed. If you're in nursing, we have professors who are still working as nurses, especially during the COVID pandemic. Some of the nurses are still, still working, but also wrote in textbooks and history and things of this nature, just to show you how hands, hands are, hands on that we really are. It's important for you to have that, build that network as you move forward, okay? So this is what the Griffin Edge is able to do for us. So the admissions process, if you're a little interested about Grand and Mercy, again, outside of Philadelphia, and if you're looking to, and again, we're known for education and nursing, here are some of the things that we're able to do. One, we do everything on our rolling admissions, meaning we will literally accept you from the day classes start, all right? If you got your FAFSA in, great. I, I hope everyone did. I hope no one went on the first day on October 1st because we all know that the site crashes, but hopefully you were able to do so and got everything taken care of. If you have the application, we need your uh, application. We need your high school transcripts. And if you did uh, have your SATs or ACTs, we'll gladly take that over. Uh, we'll gladly see that, okay? That's the tuition for nursing and health professions around 36,000 and we do have room and board. Uh, Merit-based scholarships is based off GPA. So again, get that in there. It's very important as you move forward, especially dealing with um, your decisions. I know there's a lot of choices out there, a lot of great used, uh, universities and institutions. So it is up for you to decide which one you feel most comfortable. Definitely try to visit as many as you can. Do the best if you can do virtual tours, do the best you can and really see what it's all really made of, okay? As we move forward, financial aid, I think this pretty much goes for everyone. Make sure that you fill out your fill out your FAFSA. Make sure that you get accepted. Make sure you get everything taken care of. Also, there's other ways to get more uh, scholarships. Go to FASTweb, uh, go to Scholarly, go to other ones, go to, your, to talk to your guidance counselors, really see what the process is really like, ask those tough questions and really see what you're made of. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Now, if you have any questions, well, like I said, make sure you visit campus in person or virtually as often as you like, because I know most of us are probably doing open houses, especially with October being an extensive travel season. But again, visit as much as you can, information sessions, open houses, whatever the case may be. If you want to apply, you can apply to Grand Immersive through the common application or our application. Again, no charge. And if you have any and if you have any admissions and materials, high school transcripts, test scores, again. You want to send that over, okay? And also, you want to complete your FAFSA. What we offer for students for us is you can fill out your FAFSA before January 15th. We will award you an extra $1,000. That is correct. It is renewable up four years. So an extra, that is an extra $4,000 that comes 
your way, okay? So make sure that you fill this out, get it all done. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. And if you're ever on the East Coast and you do come to Philadelphia, that is right. You will not throw batteries at you like your Santa Claus. We won't do that. I know there's some Flyer fans out there or Eagles fans, whoever. Um, so if you do, get some cheesesteaks, enjoy the good scene, learn a little history, and come over to us. All right? Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, we'll definitely have questions after. Love to hear them. And other than that, good luck to you. And uh, hopefully hear you hear from you and see you soon. Thank you very much for that presentation. Our final institution for this session is Alverno College. Hello everyone, honor and pleasure to be here. My name is Alexis Carter. I serve as the Assistant Director of Admissions for High School Recruitment at Alverno. So welcome, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin's number one all-girl college. That's right, Alverno College is a single-gendered all-girl space when it comes to our undergraduate degree program. However, for our accelerated bachelor's degree program, as well as our graduate degrees, um, gentlemen are invited. So. At a glance, um, we have a nine to one student faculty ratio. That just means smaller class sizes for you and your experience. We're about 70% first generation with 40 areas of study that we offer, which I will share a little bit later. Um, and the big thing that I think is super cool about Alverno next to us being all girls is that we don't have a traditional grading system. So for you students on the call who are used to your, you know, uh, ACT, GPA, class rank, we don't do that at Alverno. We have a different system in which we assess our students. And then our last piece is 100% internship. So allowing students that uh, in the workplace experience in order to thrive and grow prior to graduation. So I shared some things about Alverno. Um, ooh, let me click. But I think our big thing is the fact that we don't have a traditional grading system. So the way that we evaluate our students at Alverno is through the eight abilities. Uh, this is the cornerstone of our educational experience. And the reason why is because when grownups go to work, we don't get told, you know, hey, you get an A for the day. We get told you really communicated well with that irate customer. You really analyze that report in detail. And so these eight areas of focus are uh, the curriculum at Alverno. And the way that we assess students is through a system of focusing on these areas for each assignment, not each one, but say if you did a math assignment, that would easily be problem solving and analysis. In that, we have you do the assignment under an ability, but then we also give you feedback. So through our system of feedback and with our sizes, class size, it really allows for teachers and instructors to connect to students. I often get asked by students, if you don't give grades, how do I get a transcript? How do I apply to medical school? We do have the ability to offer what we call shadow grades, but this abilities component really allows for students to dig in to not just um, their academic experience, but who are they in the classroom through these abilities. Um, our academics and most popular majors are listed here, uh, specifically nursing. We have the largest nursing college in the Midwest. Um, and with it, these other areas that we offer are um, highly sought after uh, programs and majors as well. Scholarships, these are um, opportunities we have at Alverno for students and families. So much like any college that you're gonna talk to, you're gonna go through a financial aid process. Um, it's been shared this evening, but I say to students and families alike, please get that FAFSA in because it's the best way to begin the talks about you and money. Um, some of the competitive scholarships that are located at Alverno College includes our Roosevelt Scholarship, which is a full tuition scholarship experience. So you'll get a four-year degree and students who apply for that were gen or excuse me, full year tuition coverage for your four year degree. And students who usually apply for that scholarship are those rooted in service. So if you are a person who has rolled up your sleeves, you've done things with your youth group, you have um, extracurriculars that you've been engaged in through your uh, high school experience, please do apply for Roosevelt. In addition, Achievers is for um, students who um, have 
uh, excelled in terms of their academic experiences and performance in school. And so with that, you get $2,000 that's renewable each year. And then Bowman Scholars, which is a program we have specifically for Black women to engage at Alverno College through a Black lens. So it's a mentorship program in which you receive full tuition scholarship coverage um, as a young woman attending. So at Alverno this year, we um, are test optional. So that means that you just need to have our minimum GPA, which is 2.3 to be considered for a bachelor's degree program and 2.0 to be considered for a um, associate's degree program. And we have our own application. So it takes less than 30 minutes to apply. There is no fee, but with it, um, it allows for your, your information to come directly to Alverno College and us assess you. Us being test optional means that that ACT or SAT is not necessary. Um, so we really do try to just put it uh, in the forefront, the idea of raw grade point average. All students who are accepted to Alverno College do get a merit scholarship. So if you come in with that minimum 2.3 grade point average, you're gonna be looking at a starting rate of $12,000 per academic year that you'll get every year for four years. On the high end of our matrix, which would be a student who uh, has a grade point average of a 3.7 or better, you're looking at the top of the matrix, which would be up to $18,000. So we have no admissions essay and as shared, we're test optional. And then the last piece that I like to share is we're open for business. So while I know this is an event where people um, from all across the country have been um, invited to come and engage, um, I wanna invite you all to Alverno's campus. So we're located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, part of the Midwest, home of the 2021 um, NBA basketball champions, the Milwaukee Bucks, and our baseball team, the Brewers, is headed to the championships as well. So um, with it, wanna just share some of the fabulous things we have happening, not just in Milwaukee, but on our campus. So some preview days in which you and your family can come to campus. We actually have a virtual event being hosted. And then um, other days that are simulations, so live simulation for those interested in nursing, those interested in science. And then last decision, Alverno has a, a program, or excuse me, a degree in which is called undecided. You don't have to determine what uh, necessarily what degree you wanna take up with us as we allow students and families to um, consider us um, as someone who's still deciding. So with that, thank you all for the opportunity to talk to you about Alverno College. I'll stop my share and I thank you, appreciate it. All righty, thank you everyone for presenting. We still have a few minutes left in our program today. So I'm gonna ask our college reps to come back and answer a question for us, which you can see is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll go in presentation order. So I will let Loyola University New Orleans get us started. Oh, there's so much advice. When you do this job for a long time, you wanna, you want to help in many, many ways. But I think the piece of advice that I give most often is be careful how long your application list is. In other words, I, I personally think that seven schools, applying to seven schools is perfect, a perfect number. Um, because nowadays, all of us have different application requirements, different deadlines, different audition requirements. Um, we're also all going to email you every day. Now we're gonna text message you. Um, so keeping that list small and meaningful is my best piece of advice. Seattle University? I am. Awesome, I'm next. So my advice for you all as students is really look for the best fit. And so don't look for the brand name because that might not end up being your best fit, right? And so how you can determine that is through anywhere from our virtual visits to in-person because we all have them uh, as well as then also try to connect with current students because that's really how you're going to get through and understand the vibe and understand what the university is all about because they're experience, the current students are experiencing that firsthand. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're finding your best fit because potentially can be there for four years. So you wanna make sure you're happy and you're gonna be able to thrive at your new institution. 
University of St. Francis. Thank you. Uh, my piece of advice would be to give yourself grace in the process, especially your senior year. It can feel so overwhelming. You want to enjoy senior year, but you have lots of exams and preparation and applying to colleges. It can feel stressful and like you have to get it all right, right then, um, but you don't. And so worst case scenario, you transfer schools and that's okay. You want to find the best place right away. And so do your research, but also like give yourself a break and just trust yourself, trust the people that are speaking into your life and giving you wisdom and allow yourself to just enjoy the process and know that it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to go somewhere and you're going to make it your place and you're going to find, you're going to find friends. So yeah, just give yourself grace for the process would be my piece of advice. Gwyneth Mercy. I believe my colleagues are saying all the right, right answers very quickly and they're getting it all out. So I agree with all of them, but I would simply say to, to add to it is you're a free agent, right? You want to listen to what everyone has got to offer, do the best you can, uh, take it as, a, you know, sometimes take it as a grain of salt, but you know what? Just go out there and just enjoy the experience because I don't think any of us, if you ask any of us, I don't think we would ever want to do it all over again. Some do, but there's just many other decisions in your life that you're going to make. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just enjoy it. Remember, you're a free agent. And if you want $100 million, shoot for it. Why not? Shoot or shoot. Go for it. Alberto College. Oh, looks like she uh, had a little technical issue and was unable to pop in at the last second. So I will go ahead and go on to our next thing, which is thanking you all for joining us this evening. When you close this window, there will be, I'm now having difficulties. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this evening. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We appreciate any feedback you could provide to us. Um, with, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the session was recorded and will be available again at strivescan.com slash NCCAA. Again, thank you for joining us and have a great evening.